Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Today we're going to go through what's left of my file cabinet. Are you on Facebook? Maybe you are on Facebook, but you haven't, like, gone on Facebook today. It's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> Remember yesterday I was packing up the stuff in that hutch like cabinet, right? And towards the end, I was like, it'd be fun to go through my file cabinet because I have all kinds of journaling stuff in there. And uh, we were like, okay, yeah, we'll do a live tomorrow. And I'll pack before. And then when I get to the file cabinet, we'll do that together. And you can see just the kind of stuff like I hoard journaling supplies. And that's what I was doing today, right? I was packing. And uh, I was uh, right where you see my vacuum. I was standing and I heard this noise and I turned around and the whole cabinet decided to retire today. It is no longer functional. I was gonna pack this stuff up and then use the file cabinet at the new house for like the way it was intended to be used for like my business files. <laughs> it retired today and it just decided to come right on down right on the floor, the back is busted, and on top of that file cabinet was, let's see, how many little plastic drawers does that one have? Probably 35 or 40 little plastic drawers full of beads all over my floor, not just the floor. Beads were on top of my heat presses, all the boxes, the embroidery machine, all over everything. Beads everywhere. <laughs> Sheila said, the new owners are going to wonder where all the, you know what? I shop back them up, but I was thinking the same thing. Like, I will vacuum again once everything is cleared out. And I did a real, I spent about an hour shop vacuuming these beads up off the floor. But I guarantee you there will be beads long after we are gone. Oh my glory. It's this file cabinet right here. Um, let's see. You're just going to see a portion of it. Now it's kind of propped up against this, this table. I did empty the top so it wouldn't be so top heavy. And really all that was in there was like, um, well, it was one thing I'm going to show you. The rest of the stuff I packed up already, it was mainly random scrapbook paper that I ended up donating, right? So, um, but I'll show you what, um, like my, my favorite thing that was in the top was this find from um, one of the antique stores we went to along our travels, right? I'd been looking for one of these for a long time. This is a reproduction, right, of the 1908 Sears and Roebuck catalog. But look at all the pages in this. Like, um, like anything you can imagine you'd ever want to buy. <laughs> is in this catalog. There's cameras, um, sinks, stoves. Look at that stove. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, wouldn't you love to have one? Um, yeah, but I had looked for one of these for a long, long time. And I finally found one. Look, tools, um, Pots and pans, like a whole pots and pans. This is probably cast iron, too. Um, dishes, steam cookers, sifters, all kinds of stuff. Like, I love this catalog. And I bought it to repurpose the pages and journals. And then I could never really take the pages out of it. So I've just kept the catalog. <laughs> right? Um, but, yeah, there's just... It's one of my favorite things, and this was in the top, along with just not a lot of stuff up there, but just random stuff. We're going to go through the middle two drawers, and I had forgotten the very bottom drawer I emptied when Danielle was here for the quilt show, and that was all stickers. And I just emptied the whole thing out and gave her 
a really big bag of stickers. So now the only really two drawers to empty are the two metal ones, but they're probably the most interesting ones. I saw that cabinet coming down, y'all, and it was like in slow motion. It was just like, so right where you see that vacuum right there, that's where I was. And I had just been over here, and you have to walk through here, right, and go around this table to go to the other part of the room. <laughs> and I was just right there with my back to this side of the room, and I heard a noise. And it was not an ordinary noise. And I turned around and I saw the cabinet starting to separate from the wall and just start tipping forward. And the bead cabinet that was on the bead drawers on top started sliding towards the front. And in slow motion, it, it seemed like slow motion. I started coming around the table, but when I got to the corner of the table, it was about uh, it wasn't halfway down yet, <laughs> but it was on its way, and I, I just stopped because I knew if I tried to catch it, I would probably get hurt, so I just let it go, and it made one heck of a noise and one heck of a mess. It's been a day. <laughs> Not an ordinary noise. Not at all. <laughs> So uh, we have the middle two drawers, and um, I think I could probably scoot the cabinet out without it like tipping over, and uh, we're going to start with the top drawer first, and maybe that'll make it less top heavy, and um, my goal for today is I have some of these bags, right? I have a feeling that um, most of the stuff I'm keeping anything I want to donate no matter what everything's getting packed in these bags and kind of sorted and then the stuff I'm keeping is going in a big packing box until I figure out another storage solution for it when we move but that's my goal for today and I thought it would be fun and I'm sorry I was uh a little bit um late I had phone call with the doctor's office of course like right when I was supposed to be setting everything up <laughs> oh. wow so I, I guess the main thing so I was really thankful that not none of the cats were hurt right one of the cats Ashley I call him supervisor or thread hunter he was in here but he wasn't near the cabinet, so I was thankful no cats got hurt, right? And then I was thankful that it didn't happen during the live. Because <laughs> that would have been... I don't think it was normal, the noise, like the scream I made when it came down and I just saw the disaster. I was like, I cannot believe this. It's... I'm willing to bet that there were probably 20,000 beads in that thing all over the floor fortunately they were like the really cheap beads you know like the little tiny pearls and then all the different size like pearlized little pearls the plastic ones I had every size you can imagine and the little plastic containers were full of them and then the silver ones and the gold ones and the like the seed bead you know the oblong ones not the round ones all the colors of those Easy to replace, not expensive beads, but it made a mess. It made a mess. <laughs> Whew, it made a mess. So, I think what I'm going to do is just scoot this cabinet just a little bit so I can get in that top drawer and... um it's not going to fall forward because the table's kind of blocking it. So I think we're safe with that. But she's retired. She's she's not even fit to go to the Goodwill anymore. It's busted.
And I'm just going to start setting this stuff right down here. A good portion of this stuff, like some of y'all have sent me. Little ephemera bits, lace, things like that. Some of the stuff y'all have sent me. Like one of y'all is going to recognize that little bundle of lace. <laughs> And my goal really is just to quickly sort this stuff out. Yeah, for your junk journals. <laughs> And I imagine I'll devise some kind of sorting method as I go along here. Well, it wasn't nailed to the wall, which I guess I reckon it should have been. It has the things that you can screw to the wall, but it wasn't. Because y'all remember I rearranged the studio about a year ago, maybe. Has it been that long? I rearranged everything. And when I did that, I did not screw this to the wall. I just rearranged. I should have screwed it to the wall. All right, so I think let's put all the lace that we find in a bag. That makes sense, right? We've got some leather zipper pulls. That's cool. Ephemera bits, little butterflies and roses. We'll get a bag for ephemera bits. Ephemera bits. <clears throat> Solid brass and blue stencils. We're going to put that in there. Oh, look, here's some beads for my new collection. Let's put those to the side. Little papers. We're going to put all the papers together as we go along. And here's a travel pack of paper. I already know that I'm not going to use these, so I am going to donate that. I think that's a good idea. Burlap trim. How are you? How is your day going? Is it better than my day? I hope so. It just decided, like, it's retiring today. Let's put that, put that. Oh, isn't this so cute? Uh, I bought a, a few of these at the uh, Mid-Atlantic Quilt Festival, and I forget the vendor's name, but she makes these little quilt hangers. They have little clips at the bottom and then little charms like sewing machines and scissors and things like that. And you can hang little mini quilts. Isn't that so cute? Trash pile on the floor. We're going to put these envelopes, CD envelopes. Well, I collect all kinds of envelopes. Um, for my junk journals, these are really cool because they have the clear window and when you put them in your journals, it's kind of like a pocket, a see-through like peekaboo pocket. Anytime I'm at like the thrift store or somewhere like that and they have a bundle of envelopes, I usually pick them up. Ooh, these are little black bulb pins. And tassel rings for the journals. Let's put all the hardware in a separate bag. Ah, oh, Liz, you had a root canal on Tuesday and you're not feeling good today. Not feeling good like how? Are you running a fever? 
You might want to call your doctor if you're running a fever. Did they put you on an antibiotic? Let's put all the hardware there. Paper bits, lace bits. And then let's get a bag for buttons and beads. Let's put the zipper pulls with these things. That kind of makes sense. But then I have some pearl flat back beads, some heart beads, uh, a little ribbon charm. Let's put that in there. Aren't those beads pretty? Or those are buttons. What is this? All oh, little tags. Let's put that in the paper bag. We have some green. What is this? Gross green ribbon. I think this was my Nana's actually. Okay, you started antibiotics. Good. I have somewhat of an issue. I'm only, I'm kind of thinking. Y'all remember when I had the two teeth pulled back in January? I'm kind of thinking it's related to that. We shall see. I go to the doctor on Monday, so we'll find out then. Let's put this with that stuff. See that paper? Isn't that so pretty? It looks homemade. Let's put that with the papers. Or no, let's start a new paper pack. Right over there. That, and I save, um, I'm a sucker for saving cards. <laughs> Cause like one day I think I'm gonna do something like some fussy cutting or something and do something with them. So let's put those to the side too. Bye, Joyce. Yes, go get your mammogram done. Let's see what this is. Aw. Old vintage Valentines. To Angela from Florence Lynn. Don't you love that name? Florence Lynn. To Angela from Gerald. I wonder if someone sent these to me or if I bought them. I have so much stuff that's like this that I lose track if someone sent things to me or if I bought them. I should really start writing notes. What did I do with that ephemera? I think that's in, in this bag. Let's put this in there. I have a lot of stuff like that. Ooh, a stamp. Let's put that to the side. Some ribbon. I'm just gonna be quickly sorting through, y'all. <laughs> I'm not trying to bore you. And I think Miss Linda sent me this thread. We're gonna put that in there like that. And a quilt block. Isn't that so pretty? I was saving that in my drawer. I'm gonna put that to the side. Cards. Here's some laces. We're gonna put that in with the lace. And some kitty cat wrapping paper. I do know someone sent me that. Let's put that in with this paper stuff. Scotch brand. This is like a metal tape. Have y'all ever used that? It's super, super thin. We'll put that to the side. Actually, so that's staying pretty organized, right? What's in this bag? <laughs> Sally said my OCD is kicking in just watching you sort this stuff. 
How would you do it differently? I think it's pretty organized, right? Lace and thread and buttons and beads and ephemera, right? Yo-yos and thread. Watch this, Sally. I'm going to put that in right in there. <laughs> I feel like this is pretty organized. Let's grab another handful of stuff. The good news is not all my beads were lost today. Look, there's a little packet of beads. some more metal tape let's just stack that right there look at these pretty cards uh if you ordered a cookbook journal kit several years ago do y'all remember when i did those um it was a whole series where we i made kits and if you ordered them i sent you a kit and then we had a whole series where we made the journals together uh the cookbook journal kits had some of these playing cards in them. I remember that. Let's put those in that envelope. <laughs> Ornate plates. I love these things. I like to put these on the top, on the front of my journals too. Let's put those in there. Envelopes. Postcards. That's trash. Postcards and cards. That goes in that stack. We have beads. More beads. Those are pretty like glass leaf beads. Let's put them in this bag. The good news is, <laughs> I do know that you'd be here if you weren't 11 hours away. Uh, the good news is, this is just temporary storage. So, you can relax just a little bit because this is not how I plan on storing this stuff forever. I just wanted to do a pre-sorting before we move. And uh, I do know that we could not transport this stuff in that file cabinet. So that was the plan right from the get-go, right? But uh, we're definitely not even taking the file cabinet with us now. Here's some more little... These are leather. My friend Everly gave these to me. Uh, they're leather buttons paper napkin, some more cards. So I'm only pre-sorting. I want to get some kind of um, organizer that's kind of clear so you can see what's in each one of the drawers. But it, I don't know, kind of maybe like the ones that are on a rolling cart maybe that I can tuck up underneath of my tables. I've seen those, but they have different colored like little drawers and I would like clear ones or I don't even know if they make clear ones, do they? I must have scored a whole bunch of this tape <laughs> somewhere. Tissue paper, that's important to keep. Envelopes. But yeah, I'm just pre-sorting. Photo mounting squares can go in there. Leather tassels. Anyway, I thought I would be more productive like yesterday when I sorted through. I actually went through that cabinet pretty quick. And I had been dreading going through that thing for about a month. <laughs> and it went by pretty quick. Oh, let's see. Hold on a second.
I'm just gonna stack this stuff up. And as I start to pull stuff out, I'm gonna just box it up. But look, Everly gave me a whole bunch of these things one time. Leather buttons and straps and buckles. Here's some more. <laughs> Let's actually get rid of some of this extra cardboard bits. See that? But aren't those really cool? Like I thought I could do journals and these could be like the closures on journals. Wouldn't that be awesome? And I think that bag is full. Ooh, yes, they make clear ones. But you kind of still need them labeled. Okay, that's good to know. That's what I'm going to look for. Sheila said uh, they have them at Joann's. I'm going to look for them. All right, so there's one bag. We have a lace bag, ephemera bag, and a buttons and beads bag. I guess we need... Let's open up one more bag just for random stuff. Photo corners. We put some of those in there. I think these are like little papers that I coffee dyed at one time. <laughs> I think I did. Let's put those in there. <clears throat> these are... State resale certificate. I think this is just a bunch of stuff I bought at an um, antique shop one time. They're old business cards. and I hereby certify that I hold valid seller's permit. The date is 1955. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I don't know why I love stuff like that so much. Let's put that in there and start a new ephemera bag. So there we have a new ephemera bag. Cards. Trash. So I have a bunch of these little paper pads and I know uh, a good majority of them I wanna keep, but some I have, I know I will not use. So let's just sort those real quick. Isn't that pretty paper? Time machine, I will use that. Not the travel ones and not the baby. So we're gonna donate those. Envelopes, yes, we're keeping those. And that paper pad. We're going to donate the baby one. And we're going to donate this one. Isn't that pretty? I kind of liked it when I bought it. Ooh, I like that paper. But let's donate that one too. And I think, ooh, doesn't that look like a quilt? Let's keep this one. It even has stickers in it and some ephemera bits. We're keeping that one. 
So I'm gonna stack these paper pads right in my box. And then we're gonna pull this out. <laughs> Y'all wanna see something really cool? These are paper clips that I made. So it's a file folder, right? Just the manila file folder. And I doubled it and glued a paper clip inside. See that? So the paper clip is glued inside. And the front is fabric that I decoupaged onto the front. Quilting zone. It's a little paper clip. And there is, uh, it looks like a little quilt, right? So you can just use these in your journals, in your planners, whatever you want a paper clip. I'm gonna put those in my journal or in my book. I'm so glad I found them. And then I have a whole bunch of random things just floating around like this, embrace imperfection. That's kind of my life motto right now. And let's put that in with these things. Yeah, I'm so glad none of the cats were in here when that cabinet fell. Look, little baby paper pad. That's cute. Tidbit of lace. Wanda said it makes me want to go shopping for scrapbooking stuff. What is this? Oh, looky there. Uh, my friend and I, she has a die set. Stampin' Up! Came out with a new die set and she was a consultant for stamping up at the time and all of those are little pieces right and we had a crafting day and I made little cards and then we stamped them with her stamps and uh, she put them in this fancy little boxes for me and that cool what is this one oh yeah see I made that but it was a die set Stampin' Up! die set. That was a fun day. Let's keep those. Sea Life flashcards. See, I buy stuff like this thinking this would be so cute to like tuck in a pocket in a journal, right? Clownfish. Oh no, that's a conch. <laughs> but wouldn't that be cool? Like if you did a water themed you know, journal. To have these little flashcards tucked in pockets. And there's so many in here, like you would never put this many in one journal, right? Just a couple. So like you could make a whole bunch of journals uh, and have those in there. Let's put that right there. See, and this is where um, I'm going to just start donating some of this stuff because I've had this for a long time and I will never use this, but somebody will, right? That kind of looks like one of my quilts. <laughs> uh, somebody would love to use those, right? So we're going to donate that kind of stuff. Recipe cards, I save. Index cards, I save. I'll actually use those. Here's one of my envelopes that I made look old. Recipe cards. Recipe cards. You know what? It actually kind of feels really good just to go through this stuff and just refresh like what you have 
what you have and get rid of some stuff that you know you'll never use. Look. These are actual photos that I purchased uh, right over in Gloucester at an antique shop. I was hoping that a date would be on them. Isn't that awesome? All negatives preserved. More like this can be had at any time for $2 a dozen. Wow. $2 for a dozen photos. These are like hard cards. I was hoping there'd be a date on them. Nineteen seventy-eight. I was four years old. Isn't that pretty? That looks like a road that you drive to get to Harlan's parents in Vermont. Oh, this is Vermont. <laughs> this looks just like uh, one of the roads you drive through at Christmas time, and the houses are like sitting right on the road, and you drive right by them, going up the through the mountain roads to get to his parents' house. That's exactly what it looks like. Exactly. We're saving all of that stuff. Yeah, these are old blank recipe cards. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was collecting these for when I did the uh, cookbook journal. And I put a whole bunch of blank recipe cards in those journal kits. That's weird. We're not keeping that. <laughs> uh, nope. An old card for a game. And then we have random card stock that I probably will not use. We're donating that, but all of these colors I will keep. I like how spontaneous I'm making decisions. Let's see. That's cardstock. I don't know that you can see it. It has little specks in it. It kind of looks like it was homemade. It probably wasn't, but it kind of looks like it was. We're going to put that with that. More envelopes. Envelopes, paper napkins. Here's some more of that really pretty paper. There's a whole stack of it. Look at that. It feels like tissue paper, but it's not. We're keeping that. And paper with writing on it, I always keep. I don't know why. And of course, I like that. Oh, there's some more of it. And the blue stars. We'll keep all of that. Let's put that in a plastic bag all by itself so it's kind of protected. <laughs> We're even going to put this in there too. It's all the same size. It probably goes together. Rice paper. See, y'all are so smart. Candy said, are you still running into the what on earth did I buy and keep that for? That was mainly yesterday in that one cabinet. <clears throat> uh, some of this stuff, like a lot of it I know I bought. Some of it people just send me. Um, so some of it I'm like, um, 
I have a hard time remembering who sent it to me because I should label stuff and I haven't done that. But the stuff like I don't recognize myself buying was probably sent to me. Oh, there's some more. This is actually just a bag of scrap card stocks. Let's keep that, but put it together. <laughs> and then little... Actually, those are good sizes, don't you think? That's a great size scrap. I don't like those, though. We're going to toss those into the donate pile. I don't even so much like those either. Okay. We're donating those too. All right, so we eliminated a lot of that. We're gonna put all these little card stocks together and the recipe cards are going in the same bag. And the little baby. The little baby paper pad. I feel so organized already. Even saved the lid. That has an address on it. We're not going to show that. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a covered bridge in Vermont. And Bennington, which is not far. We go to Bennington all the time. And things like this. Um, I think these were like, you know how you can buy the packs of scrap more postcards the packs of scraps you know uh, and you always get a bunch of random pieces I think that's what all these were I don't know that I'd ever use these though they're very odd shaped long pieces I make enough of these kind of scraps all on my own when I do projects <laughs> I think I'm just gonna let someone else have fun with those and donate that. But look here, y'all. I have a clear bin I can use. Saving that bad boy. <laughs> and some more ties. And one random book corner. I was probably looking for that. I probably had to go buy a whole nother set just because I was missing one. <laughs> Let's pack all this stuff together. I love those old photos. And let's throw the postcards in there. Today uh, was like, and this happened, so this is crazy, y'all. Let me put this back up. This is crazy because this happened at the exact same time my file cabinet knocked down. Like, 
some hairy carry business was happening in my neighborhood all at the same time. Of course, I didn't find out about it until shortly after. But at the same time my file cabinet knocked down, uh, my neighbor across the street, we live in a really hilly neighborhood, like hills, not mountains, hilly with some ravines. The ravine behind our house is dry and woods, but right across the street from us, those houses, our neighbors across the street, their ravine goes into a great big kind of, I want to say pond, but it looks kind of like a lake. So their backyard goes down like this, right? Into down there is a pond. So <laughs> Harlan came upstairs. I was like, look at my catastrophe. And he had brought us lunch. And I was like, I will start cleaning it up after we eat. So we're sitting there and we just started to eat. And my neighbor called. And uh, he was like, Jim needs help across the street. And Harlan's like, is he okay? And he's like, yeah, but this just happened. <laughs> His truck, he has a, a little tiny work truck, right? A little, like little tiny old Ford Ranger that should have gone with the other stuff. A little Ford Ranger that he just hauls mulch and stuff with, right? It's just, you know, kind of like a little work truck. Anyway, he had gone and gotten a whole truck full of mulch. And he drove the truck to the backyard. And he was shoveling mulch into some flower beds back there. And the truck got stuck. And so, evidently... He was using a winch to pull the truck out of the mud or whatever it is. And the winch broke and the truck started going down and it rolled right down and hit a tree. And had the tree not been there, his truck would have gone right into the little lake. That happened at the exact same time my file cabinet tipped over. Isn't that crazy? Fortunately, he was not hurt. No one was behind the truck. He wasn't in the truck. So, yeah, now the back of his truck is all smashed in because it went full force into the tree. Look how organized I am. <laughs> Let's put that in there with that. Does anybody else do stamping up? I don't, um, but we had a lot of fun with her stuff that day. And that is one cabinet. All of that stuff was in one drawer. I don't think it was an earthquake. <laughs> it was just a coincidence. A very odd one. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Nope, my table is in the way. All right, so this is going to be a surprise as we sort through this. All right. But isn't that crazy? <laughs> Actually, I've kind of, this is kind of organized though, isn't it? Like, all my seam binding, these were uh, my Nana's seam bindings. It's very easy to say that these are vintage, right? Aren't they? Seam tape, seam bindings, a whole bag full of them. Like I just can't bring myself to ever use it. 
tapes and trims, hitch, hem edge. It's just a big full bag of it. Some elastics too. We were talking about yesterday, uh, sentimental things, right? Like this bag. <laughs> it's so sentimental to me. But I don't have to reorganize that. It's all in a bag. And then, remember, we I was just saying, you know how you can buy paper packs, right? Scrap bags. That's what these are. And I'm pretty sure somebody sent these to me. I have not opened any of them yet. So, I'm going to just keep those the way they are. See that? All these scraps of paper. And then, ooh, these are already in a bag. Envelopes, paper bags. Let's consolidate. How many of you are into making your own journals? I love putting paper bags in my journals. <laughs> <clears throat> 25 cents definitely vintage I think so we're consolidating those bags I think that package has seen better days let's pull those out aren't those cool envelopes they're really sturdy brown paper envelopes they look very Christmassy don't they Red stripes. Oh, I have some brown faux leather. I'm pretty sure I was going to cover a journal with that at one time. More paper bags. Sylvia, your daughter does a bunch of journals. Candy, I bet those are so pretty. Now this feels like homemade paper. It's got dried flowers in it. Isn't that pretty? It's like a card with an envelope. All right, I think I think that bag is full. Let's see if we can stuff these envelopes in there and call that a full bag. One day, Sally, I hope so. I hope. Alright, so I'm going to call this bag full. You think so? Laces and trims and thread. Let's consolidate that. And let's open up a new bag and scoot this. This was really cool. I think Linda sent me this. Song rolls. Isn't that paper so pretty? Like, I think this is one of those things they put in a piano. But uh, I totally would repurpose this, all of that paper, <laughs> for a journal. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. We have spider webs. Oh, yeah, here's the little. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I thought it was going to tell me <laughs> which stamp, which die set she used for the little um, quilt blocks, but it's that's not that's not what that is. Never mind. We're going to donate that. Donate some of this stuff. You never have enough index cards. Uh I bought these specifically to use in journals <laughs> to make little tags and stuff, right? Isn't that cool? It's a receipt book. And paper napkins to decoupage with. Let's just go ahead and put those in a bag. Chris said, no wonder that filing cabinet was <laughs> too heavy to move, right? I know. Mm. See, some of this is just empty packaging. Little paper bags for journals, envelopes. Ooh, a Kenmore rotary cutting or sewing machine manual I'm pretty sure I saw this at a thrift store and just bought it so I could repurpose the pages in a sewing journal <laughs> we're keeping that bad boy and then guess what this is guess what that is <clears throat> this is my invitations for my wedding all the blank ones and envelopes so of course we'll keep that we have some paper doilies can go right in that bag isn't that cute That was sent to me. I'm pretty sure that was sent to me. Uh, just, they're just blank cards. Rate your mate. I bought this at a, a thrift shop so I could put the cards in little pockets. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, what number... Would your mate say best describes your knowledge of current events? This might be a fun game for me and Harlan to play. I'm going to put that to the side. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. It's an exciting new game of kiss and tell. That sounds like a fun Friday evening to me. We're putting that to the side. Envelope. This can go. Oh, look. I got these for the journals, but don't you think this is a good idea? Like you could make your little PDF and make it into like a notebook pad, right? It's uh, all... All the staples for the grocery list, right? And you just go through and check the boxes and write how many. I put some of these in the cookbook journal kit. I thought that was really neat. When did uh, me and Harlan get married? 10 years ago. Ten years. Uh, 
I think these are scraps left over from the cookbook journal too because we covered it in denim. And that looks about the right size. We're saving that. We're tossing the envelope. Yeah, our anniversary is actually coming up. All this stuff was just in the two middle drawers. Yep, so there's one of the pockets. We're saving that. Okay, we're gonna quickly go through some of this. These are just bits and pieces of stuff that I clipped from magazines that I thought would make like really cool ephemera, right? It looks like a wine label. I think that's what that is. Isn't that cool? I just clipped them out of magazines and saved them. Thank you cards. Ooh, let's put this, look, it's beaded trim. I think it was cut off of an old dress or something. I bought it like that. Some little lace flowers. Harlan probably thinks I'm, I'm crazy when I go to these antique stores and I look for stuff like this, just sandwich bags. <laughs> of random clippings and things, but don't you think that would be so pretty like applique to a quilt block or a pin cushion or on the front of a journal? And then it gets stuffed in a cabinet and you forget you had it. Here's some more of those. Aren't they pretty? Like I would love to play canasta with these. I wonder if they're all there. Aren't those so pretty? I'll have to see if all the cards are there. These are just blank cards. Ooh, some flower seeds. What do y'all think? How long are seeds good for y'all? Would these still grow? 2016. Sell by November 2016. Would these still grow? Cosmos, marigold, and wildflowers. This is just little baby. These are almost, this is almost like the charm, mini charms of the paper crafting world. <laughs> mini charms. Recipe cards, thank you cards. Don't they look like quilt blocks? Look, isn't that so pretty? You can find uh, inspiration for quilts everywhere. Isn't that so pretty? These are little dividers for a, like um, recipe cards, but they look like quilt blocks. Like wouldn't you just love to make a whole quilt with that block right there? Wouldn't that be gorgeous? All right, I'm gonna still I'm gonna try them and see if they grow. Ah, uh, put them in water and watch if they crack to grow. I have not made ATCs, 
but I would love to. Here's some more playing cards. Aren't they pretty? Here's some more seeds. Hollyhock. Aww, the little kitty. So these look just like blank cards with envelopes. Is this an ATC size? What size is an ATC, Sheila? Because I kind of feel like that this might be an ATC size. I forget now. But it's like a package of them. A little notepad that's really too pretty to write notes on. Blank cards. And an envelope. Ooh. Here's some more little ephemera bits <laughs> that I cut. <laughs> I don't know why I was saving this stuff. I mean, I do think it's really pretty. Don't you? Little labels. Old cards that have old stamps on them. Postcards. Amish folks at Lancaster County, Pennsylvania at a barn raising. Isn't that cool? Virginia Beach, that's close to us. Bush Gardens, that's right across the street. This is back in the day when Bush Gardens was fun. <laughs> Did y'all ever go to Bush Gardens back in the day, like in the 80s? When is this dated? It doesn't have a date on it. Uh, they should have put a date on here. This was back in the day when Bush Gardens was fun. Like, really fun. Maybe it was just because I was a kid. <laughs> uh, just like that, a whole flood of memories come flooding back. Aw, little ephemera frames and things like that. Two and a half by three and a half. Oh, no, but I think that's bigger than what I have. Debbie, these look like some of your drawers. <laughs> I was so glad when I posted yesterday that uh, I am not by myself in this kind of mess, right? I'm not the only one who does this. I must have gone to town cutting, 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 cutting. Look at all those cuts. We're going to put those all in the same bag. That might be one reason why my cabinet failed. These are the two side things. We just have a few random things left, y'all. So that's it. <laughs> I'm going to sort through everything I'm putting up here is what's left. Look, this looks really old, but I made that. Isn't that cool? Here's some more aluminum tape. Y'all ever do metal tape art? 
That's a lot of fun. Alright, that's everything that's left. The fall cabinet is now empty. The good news is this is going to go by pretty quick. Look, antique buttons. Somebody was just saying they had cult cards with old buttons or something on them, right? And that's so cool. And then a big bag of buttons. You can just move those right into the box. First though, let's put that in there. All right, let's clear this box out of the way. I can use that box and it's purple and the lid for it is right here look I got two boxes today okay it is empty hazel that's it let's see what's in here Oh, I used to use this for coupons, and then when I got my binder, <laughs> I switched over and I started putting ephem ephemeras in it, like a whole bunch of the Tim Holtz cards, you know, how you could buy the packs of the cards. Um, and then, yeah, that's what these are too, little Tim Holtz cards. Can you even buy these anymore? I don't know. It's been a while since I even looked for it. Here's another little paper clip that looks like a pillow. Oh yeah, see here's a whole bunch of Tim Holtz little cutout pieces. See that? We're gonna put them right back in there. And save it. <laughs> Here's some more um, like this feels like it was on some clothing or something that someone cut off. It's black beadwork like a trim. You never know when you might need that. That can go right in that bag. Let's let the air out. And then, for very fine work and for combining other, and for combining with other threads, Ooh, metallic thread. Don't you love the cards that it's on though? That's one that I made. <laughs> um, <laughs> and some lace. Let's put all that stuff right in there. Some stuff I'm... Aw, that was a card someone sent me. Paper bag. Note card, note card. Empty package. A little envelope I made that I messed up on. 
sales order forms just to use in the junk journals. These are little cigarette cards. Have y'all seen these? I bought those at a little, um, this was at the flea market. There's a shop in Gloucester flea market that sells things like that, but they're little tiny cards. That's what those are. Index cards, little tags that I made from tea stained cardstock. Those are a keeper. <laughs> Index card. Paper. Envelopes. A message pad that's too pretty to write on. <laughs> An envelope that I it looks like I tea stained. I think that's what a lot of this stuff is. Shayla, don't you love that place? We love going there. Blank cards and envelopes. Oh, that's just the packaging from that. Okay, all that can be grouped together. feeling so organized all right let's kind of group some of this stuff together like all of these little cards I feel should stay together because I bought them all together and this is all we have left to sort anyways seeds they go there and then, see, like, here's some more wine labels that I cut from a magazine. I don't know why I did that. Ooh, here's some gold thread. That's going to go in that bag. Guaranteed washable buttons. I wish this stuff had dates on them. But don't you love like the packaging with the flowers at the bottom? I bought all of these because not the ones my Nana has. Those would not be used in a journal. But I started buying cards like this um, because I was going to put together a sewing journal kit. And I thought that these would be fun, like, um, embellishments for those. Wouldn't that be fun? And then I just got way too busy. Ooh, here's some more threads. Aren't they pretty? Shiny. Price tags. These are always good to have. Let's staple that back up. Price tags. Where do you go? You go in that bag. Petite folded cards. You can also, everything's going in this bag now. <laughs> Ooh, I might actually use these in my planner right now. So we're keeping those out. Didn't even know I had them. Look, first cross stitch. I bought this at the Goodwill. 
Doesn't this look great for like drawing out a little uh, idea for a quilt? That's why I bought that. Those are cute little cards, isn't that cute? Aww, that's cute. So this is it, y'all. Here's some envelopes. I think I'm gonna sort these cards out and toss all of my little clippings that probably took me hours of cutting. <laughs> like I know all of those are the same thing. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, oh, here's an update. Yesterday I mentioned um, I might change the time for clue number 15. Our last clue of the mystery quilt. I'm gonna come at the same normal time we always come, 12 o'clock noon. Isn't that pretty? It's a flower. See that? Um, we're gonna come at our normal time. And what I've done, because they give you a time range, right? No one can just tell you, oh, I'm gonna be there at 11 and then show up at 11. No, they say between 11 and two. <laughs> well, how about just mess up the whole day, okay? I mean, that's what I feel like saying. Anyway, we don't know if he's gonna be here. My friend had a truck that looked just like that and he drove it to work every day. A Suburban, just like that. Um, so who knows if he'll be here between 11, if he'll be here at 11 or um, two o'clock. And it, like I would have put off my class and he wouldn't even get here till two o'clock anyway. So what I did is I called my dad and they're just camping right down the road and he is gonna come and uh, he'll let them in if they come while we're doing the last clue. And who knows if they will or not. The only thing is, is that uh, I have two attic spaces in this room and they will probably have to go in them. So I'm gonna be like, well, you know, when he comes in, hey, uh, say hi to everybody. <laughs> You're in my video today. And if you don't wanna be in the video, I'll just turn this camera on and you walk by me, right? But chances are they might not even come while we're doing a class anyway. So I was like, we're not gonna change the time. Let's do it the normal time. So there's the update on that. Oh, the Devil's Tower National Monument. My parents went there on a trip once. Not that, that long ago. I just want to make sure there's all those cards are out of there. And all of this is trash. I must have thought it was really important at one point to cut all these things out, but I don't want them. But that's the lid to my purple box. So now I have another box I can use. Let's do a trash bag. Can I sell these in my Etsy shop? Do you want them? <laughs> Don't know. I think I'm just gonna toss them. I don't know that it's worth it, is it? Yeah, 
Sylvia sorted all that stuff. So here's a bag of threads and trimmings and lace. Packed. Here's a bag of some denim and some leather. People buy that stuff. I guess, but yeah. All right, I will save it. <laughs> there we go. It's saved. Maybe one day I'll come across it and sell it on Etsy. We'll see. All right, so we already saw this. This was the stuff I put to the side as we sorted it, right? I'm just going to bag it all together so it's not floating around in the box. Pretty little quilt block. I feel so organized now. Actually, I feel a lot more organized than just opening the two bins and pulling stuff out to see what's in them. So at least it's all kind of grouped together, right? And I will be organized in my new place. Metal tape, I don't really feel like that goes with that stuff. Because that's kind of like a craft all in its own. And a Christmas ornament. And a Christmas ornament. That goes with the Christmas stuff. I'm going to keep those handy. Because those probably need to be like planted soon, don't they? If they're going to be planted. And I wish I had a little tiny bag. Let me see up here. I do, I have a little bag. Let's put these in a little bag. Do you have more fabric uh, or crafts? I have packed all my fabric up. That's all been packed away. I think this is wrapping up all the rest of my crafts. No, I have a shelf with like some... <sighs> Glue, like coconut oil, wood glue, decoupage, like glycerin stuff, kind of wet stuff for crafting, you know. Uh, and that, I think, will finish up all my crafting supplies. There. I feel like that's more organized. I don't think I want this anymore. What would you use this for? This is not really metal. Ooh, it has a smell to it, too. I don't want this. We're donating that. It's not really metal tape. This is metal tape. Have y'all seen this stuff? Have you done stuff with this? This stuff is really cool. Do you want to see what it does? Let me find a pair of scissors. Not my fabric scissors. Yep. The fabric scissors to cut the metal tape. 
If that hurts your heart, close your eyes for a second. <laughs> oh no. Uh, before I do that, let me bag up this stuff that's going to the thrift the AV. I don't want to get sidetracked and forget. Yeah, you can emboss the metal tape. The glycerin I put on dried out stamp pads. It kind of revives some. Not all the dyes are the same, right? I think I use it on like the water-based stamp pads. And it revives the ink in your stamp pads. I just want to bag this stuff up so I don't confuse myself later on or have this fall on the floor and I have 50 million pieces of paper to pick up. I feel like I've picked up enough stuff today. <laughs> and actually... We'll use the back of that paper pad to demonstrate. All right. Sorry, I feel like this is not a well-organized tutorial. <laughs> All right, so this is just the back of my little paper pad, right? We're donating this paper pad, but we're going to make a little work of art first. And then whoever buys the paper pad. See, this is just the metal tape you buy at the hardware store, right? It's sticky on one side. And we're going to flatten that out like that. It would be nice if I could pull it off and not wrinkle it. That's better. I like doing this kind of stuff too with, um, you know how you can go to the Dollar Tree and buy the big, um, like, aluminum pans for big casseroles or turkeys. And at the bottom, it's nice and flat. Um, I like to cut the flat section out and use that to do stuff that's like this, too. I wonder if I have any tools that I could use. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All my tools are packed away. Um, hold on a second. Here we go. I'll just use a ballpoint pen. So I like just embossing it to look like random patchwork quilts, right? And see, see how I just sort of embossed it with my pen. And then um, I like making little decorative signs. And this is just going to be a random quick one, right? But um, the metal holds its shape, right? So it's textured. And you see the lines, right? And then I'll come in here and I'll do... Like circles. And then I'll do a flower, right? I'm just going to do a really quick one with you. And then I'll do little stitch marks around this block. And then this one will make like 
half square triangles, right? And then texture half of them. Anyway, it looks like like it's been embossed, right? Well, it has been. And then once you go through and you do your whole thing, right? And so I would do my name like this. L I S S's are hard. <laughs> You know whatever you wanted to put in here right and then once you do that you take some black acrylic paint or black gel medium or something something that's dull and matte even maybe like a black shoe polish something that's gonna dry permanently and you just rub over it and then take a cloth and buff it off and so what it does is it leaves the black marks in all the parts that you um, embossed and it looks old and vintage like a piece of metal art did you ever do the copper or tin punch lampshades or things like that i did not that sounds fun though No, that metal tape that I just threw away, uh, that's nothing for sublimation. I think I picked it up a long time ago thinking it was this, only thinner strips, but it's not. It's just thin tape, and it smells horrible. That's It's nothing that I actually use, but this metal tape is a lot of fun. So there's a quick tutorial for you today. This goes in the donating bag. <laughs> Along with the rolls of tape I dropped. So I think that's really good, right? Out of two really jam-packed drawers. I have two bags this size, right? Um, two bags this size that I'm donating. And pretty cool stuff, right? I mean, that tape is smelly. <laughs> and I don't even know what you're supposed to use it for. But somebody might want it. But the other paper pads and stuff, that's really good stuff. But everything else from those two drawers I kept and organized. So thanks for hanging out with me while I did that. Here he comes, y'all. Stop talking about him. <laughs> what are you doing? You done for today? Pretty close. Okay. You can help me pack up some stuff. I'm not quite done. You said you were done. I said I was pretty close. You're done. Here's some flower seeds. And everybody says you can soak them in water. And if they crack, like they're going to grow, mm -hmm. then they're still good. Yeah. Or you can just put them in the ground. Or you could just put them in the ground. They said that too. <laughs> he knows everything. this does inspire you yeah uh, if you're looking for a new you know how if you are quilting 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 and sometimes you want to do something different because you might lose your mojo and quilting right mm -hmm. and there he is y'all um, trying out a different craft or something you've never tried before might get you back in the creative swing of things right and uh, yeah, how much is a roll of this metal tape at Lowe's? Probably not more than 10 bucks. You said it's not more than 10 bucks. Or you can go to the Dollar Tree and get one of those casserole things and just cut 
the flat part out of the bottom. It works the same way and that's even more kind of sturdy, right? And make yourself a little sign. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, he's looking it up. Wanda, it is as thin as washi tape. It sure is, but it's, it is stinky. It has a smell to it. Um, but it is as thin as washi tape. It certainly is. Well, premium silver duct tape. Oh, Harlan says premium silver duct tape is $20. We have inflation, you know. Is that what this is? Yeah, but they might, uh, let's see here. Well, what is this? No, this is different. What kind of tape is this for? Actually, you might have brought me that from work, remember? Yeah. I might not have bought that at a... No, this looks like something that was thrown out. Smell it. Like, pull off a section and smell it. It's chemically. <laughs> it is. We don't know what kind of tape it is. But it's stinky. Everybody's saying hi to you. Hi, everybody. Oh, old seeds should be put in water first. Mm. Most of the time they will grow then. So put them in water first. You don't want me to do anything with the seeds. If you want them to grow mm -hmm. at all and have half of a chance, you don't want me to mess with them. Could it be for packing electronics? It might be. Mm, it could be. She listed it space tape. It's probably space tape. It's probably space tape, he says. This might be the tape that was on the first thing that went to the moon landing. Could be. I might be able to sell this tape. Right, y'all that's it uh yeah the fall cabinet is retired now i wanted to save it but i guess i mean i guess it works out though i mean the file cabinet is four drawers is really tall a smaller one with two drawers would have fit my needs just perfectly so i mean i'm kind of sad to see it go but space wise i was kind of wondering where i was going to fit it anyway so it just said, I'm done today on the ground, busted up. Is it Friday yet? Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow, I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? We're going to be finishing up the mystery quilt. I've had so much fun looking at all your photos. Y'all are doing so good. Could you come over and help me with sorting? If I didn't have a whole house and a business to move and you lived close by, you bet you I would love to come help you sort. <laughs> I think I made some really fast decisions today, don't you? I think if I were doing that by myself, like I would get distracted and procrastinate. And I would probably maybe have some YouTube videos up and I would catch myself probably watching the video. And that process, just those two drawers, might have taken me till tomorrow. And look how fast we sorted them. So, I mean, I think what I've learned from yesterday and today is that if you have a task that you were procrastinating on and putting off, Call up a friend. Maybe Zoom chat with a friend and do it while you're talking to them.
because it seems to make making decisions much faster. All right, everybody. I will see y'all tomorrow. Let's finish up this mystery quilt. Same time, normal time, 12 o'clock. All right, everybody. Bye. I'm off to pack up a few more little boxes since it's still kind of early. And that didn't take quite as long. I thought we'd be here longer.